Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series. This is a mod pack called Simply Magic. It's by one of my all-time favorite mod pack authors, Drastic Demise, who's also a good friend of mine, and he created it as well with another mod pack author named Brizzle. Basically what this mod pack is, is a kind of a tutorial mod pack for magic mods, which is awesome because I know my way around tech mods for the most part, but magic mods are still pretty foreign to me. So this seemed like a great way to kind of familiarize myself with a lot of the various magic mods that are out there. So a couple quick administrative things to get out of the way. This mod pack is available on the Curse and FTB launchers. Uh, I will put a link in the video description to the FTB forum thread that will go over all the details about it. And as soon as we finish punching this tree for wood, there we go. And the seed we are currently playing on, if you'd like to play along, is that. You can pause the video. And the world type is alternate terrain gen. So if you're going to use that seed to get this world type and generation, you'll need to use alternate, alternate terrain gen as well. So that's, pre that's pretty much the mod pack in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and kind of get into it a little bit here. Um, first and foremost, it is an HQM uh, pack. So it's going to give us quests, which will kind of walk us through all the important stuff. We've got Witchery, Thaumcraft, Botania, Mistcraft, Ars Magica, Blood Magic, Information and Challenges, and then Aura Cascade. And actually, I seem to remember that the Aura Cascade questline was uh, created by a guy named Fortinono, who I've talked with a couple times as well. So these are the information... Okay, so there's all sorts of different stuff here. Lumberjack. Oh, this is all the challenges. It wants all of that various stuff. Okay, so that's going to be an issue. I guess we'll just kind of start diving into things a little bit. Uh, let's take a look at some of the mods within the pack here, first of all. We've got, obviously, your vanilla stuff. We've got blood magic. Bibliocraft, Automagy, uh, Botania, this is all still Botania stuff, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. still Botania, Forbidden Magic is in here, Carpenter's Blocks is in here, that'll be good for building, looks like we have Java Barrels, obviously HQM is in here, uh, Open Blocks, Open Blocks, hmm, I wonder if that's been heavily modified. It looks like it may have been. I seem to remember open blocks normally adding a lot more stuff than that, but I'm not going to complain about it too much. There's some pretty cool stuff in open blocks. We also have Sanguimancy, which I have never touched. Storage drawers, Thomcraft, Thomic Exploration. So basically Thomcraft and a bunch of Thomcraft add-ons. Then we've got Ars Magica 2, which is a pretty cool mod. Aura Cascade, which is a lot of fun. And then Chisel, it looks like. Some more Thomcraft stuff. And that's pretty much it. Okay, so that's a pretty good mix of different stuff to work with. Um, I think I noticed that Tinkers is not in here. So we'll have to start off with, you know, the normal vanilla stuff. Chopping wood and all that kind of stuff as well. Now, I should probably mention um, this series is replacing Project Ozone on my channel. I've decided to end Project Ozone. I did 20 episodes on it. I think I definitely showed off the pack and kind of... I know I kind of scratched the surface in some ways of what it's actually fully capable of, but I think you guys get the general idea of the way it works. And this is a pack... Simply Magic is, I should say. Simply Magic is a pack that I've really been meaning to play for quite a while. It's been out for a couple of months, and I just didn't have the room in my weekly schedule to play it. And Magic Mods are something that I really have been meaning to learn <laughs> a lot better <laughs> uh, for quite a while now, and I just never really got around to it, and I couldn't find the right mod pack that would really kind of explain things. So I'm really hoping that this is the one that this will teach me everything I need to know and, uh, you know, all will be well. So let's go ahead and just make ourselves some real basic tools here. I'm just going to get this stuff out of the way. 
There we go. Okay, so we got that going. Now, food. Food is the next order of business, and I see piggies. So, we're going to kill ourselves some piggies. Uh, get ourselves... What? Are those elephants? Those look like elephants. What mod is in the pack that adds elephants? That's... That's a little different. Not, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's cool. Yeah, those are most definitely elephants. What in the world? Um... We gotta take a look at that. Hold still, pig. What mod are you from? Menagerie. Okay. That's new? I totally did not know that was a thing. Huh. They're kind of cute. Come here. I want a screenshot. Yeah. We'll take it. Okay. Anyway, I digress. Uh, let's finish killing the piggies so that we can get ourselves some decent food and not starve to death tonight. Uh, hold, hold still. There we go. You two, come back. There we go. Now, I should also mention this mod pack is a very light mod pack. It should run on pretty much any computer that isn't a complete and total potato. So I think that is going to be really good for you guys because a lot of the mod packs I play um, are pretty heavy mod packs. I mean, a lot of them just won't run on anything less than a super awesome computer. And I know that kind of takes the fun out of it for some of you when you can't play along. But this mod pack is very light. There's only... I think something like 50 mods in this pack. And to kind of put that in perspective, Expedition, which is also still a pretty light mod pack, Expedition, I think, has like 120, something like that. So I think this is a good thing uh, to be playing this as well. And if you want to play along and learn magic mods alongside me, you know, you're more than welcome to do so. Let's gather up some of this coal. There we go. And this doesn't look like a terrible place to kind of set up for... At least temporarily. Let's make ourselves a handful of torches. Uh, torch. 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 Now, that was kind of... Kind of anticlimactic, I must say. I was, I was hoping for a little bit more. Whoa. Um. Oh, I'm too hungry. I was wondering why I wasn't sprinting. I'm too hungry to run. That's what's going on. There we go. Sprint. And nothing back there either. Okay. So, kind of a disappointing cave. Was really hoping to find some iron. Iron would have been nice, but that's all right. Let's just get all this stuff gathered up. There we go. We should have that food all cooking up in the furnace. Hopefully by the time we're done gathering all this coal... We'll have uh, our pork all cooked up and ready to go so that we can move on. Because this cave, if it was a little bit bigger, a little bit better, I'd probably stick around a little bit more. But uh, I'm not really looking to do that. There's not even any iron in this cave. It's not very inviting. We will take that, though. Tarma root from, I believe that's from Ars Magica. That kind of stuff can be kind of hard to find if you don't know where to look. So I'll take it. I'll take it. It might come in handy sooner rather than later. And that should be pretty much the last of the coal, I think. Well, maybe not. We probably don't need to grab all of it, though. I'd like to find some sheep and get a bed going uh, before night rolls around. Let's also grab... There's an elephant standing in the doorway. And I cannot grab amber without... Yeah. Um. You know what? We're going to go for it. I'm not lo I'm not loving this location. We're going to make a mad dash for a better location. See what we can find. It is getting dark. I do have my Optifine and my Custom Skies. I do love both. Oh, this this could be a terrible plan, but we're totally going for it. Get get the stuff. Oh, inventory tweaks. Thank goodness that inventory tweaks and mouse tweaks are both in here. Grab the chest, run away. Run. Yep. Nasty things. There are so many nasty things that can spawn around those, especially at night. It's not good. But we did get some good stuff. We got a Man of Steel ingot. We got some Tidal Scrolls. We got a Black Lotus, which will help us kind of jumpstart Botania. 
all in all, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I think I see some sheep on the mini-map over here. That would be good, because then we could get some wool going. Get some bed time. And make it morning. So, sorry sheep, I'm slaughtering you for your wool. Good, yeah, goodbye. Okay, cool. We got our three wool. What's this? Mundane lengthening cat catalyst. I have no idea what that's for. But it sounds fancy. Alright, let's just take a nap to make it morning. Hopefully that creeper I see on the map isn't going to drop on our head and kill us. That would be really unfortunate. There we go. Okay, not too bad. So, let's take a look at our map. We've got... Oh, well, I figured out where we're going. There's a village, like, right over here that I totally didn't see before. And then we got those beautiful walls uh, that witchery adds, I believe. Absolutely gorgeous. Still wish we would have found some iron, but, you know, I'll take the village. The village is a pretty good find, too, if I do say so myself. Let's see... Yep, go away, skeleton. I want... I want those bones. What do I not need? What what can I do away with? Uh, wooden pickaxe. Don't need that. And then we got some botania flowers out here. Okay. All in all, not too bad. Not too bad. Let's take a look at this village and see if there's anything worthwhile in here. I have a feeling there will be. It seems to be a pretty good-sized village. This might be a really good spot to kind of set up shop early in the game. Is there another chest up here? Oh, there totally is. Look at that. We're finding all sorts of goodies. Um, okay, I'm just going to remember that that's there. This is a library, which is going to be great for books. Because we'll need bookshelves. We'll need quite a lot of bookshelves, actually, for some of the magic stuff. This is a blacksmith. This is a really derpy village, though, I must say. The generation is just kind of terrible. But once again, some pretty good stuff. Thaumium ingots. I mean, all in all, still a good find. I'd love to find some farm... Another blacksmith? This is a double blacksmith village. And that one... That's an aura cascade building. Man, there's all sorts of good stuff here. Okay, we need to find ourselves a house so that I can drop down a couple chests and we can explore this village properly and actually loot all of its goodies. I think that's probably going to be our best bet. This looks like one of the houses that you can... No? Maybe? Man, the generation. I hate the way that these things generate sometimes. It's so terrible. Um, maybe we won't live here after all. I was thinking maybe we could live here for a little while, but... So much of this. Just look at this. I mean, you're going to expend so much energy running up and down these hills. It's terrible. Um. Hmm. Oh, falling. With that said, I'm still super glad we found a village this early. Because it's really helpful. Um. This house, maybe. What's in here? Yeah, this will do. This is home. For now. Just, just temporarily. Until we get some actual, like decent resources and we can actually like live somewhere that isn't horrible so we'll grab our two chests i'll drop one right there we'll just go ahead and dump all of that stuff away um bed will go there i'll put a torch here here and here that should light up pretty much everything between those torches and I think now we can run out and explore a bit. See what we can find. I'm stuck on a thing. Oh, actually, we should waypoint this. One second here. New. Home. Save. There. That way I can actually find it again in this annoying village that's generated like a silly something or other. I don't know. What do we got up here? Item frames. What are these? From Witching Gadgets, Iconographs, whatever those are. Interesting. There's a bunch of wool down here. We got a bunch of paper and ink sacks. That's pretty useful. Um, Where were one of those blacksmiths? That's what I want to know. 
We found all sorts of good stuff in there. Let's see, there's one over there. There's also the Aura Cascade building right here. Which I can't get into because the door is generated in a stupid place yet again. Fine, I'll just chop my way in. I see how it is. And then we'll use our pick and mine up these. These are kind of the basic things. The basic, uh... How do I say it? They're basically the things you need to get started with Aura Cascade. It's a real basic setup. Nothing fancy. Uh, and it'll get you kind of on your way as you progress into that mod. I've played through that mod a little bit. I've messed around with it a wee bit. And it is a really fun mod once you kind of get into it. There's some pretty cool stuff that it gives you. Let's take this stuff as well. Uh, might as well take the chest. Might save me some lumber down the road. Uh, and then there was another blacksmith. <sighs> really? You and your silly generation. What is this? I don't know. Anything good over here? Not really. Let's check out this blacksmith right over here. We'll snag up all this stuff as well. There we go. Hmm. Anything else in here that I'm missing that I would actually want? Oh, I should have taken that house right at the top of the hill. That would have been the smart thing to do. Uh, we got a vanilla... church. Which is basically just a derpy little cathedral. Not really anything there that I want. Then over here we've... What in the world? What is that? That is the weirdest thing I have... That... I don't even know what to say. That's just so bizarre. Uh, is this a witchery hut? I think? Yes it is! Witchery hut. Cool. I'm just gonna close you back up. There we go. And then... Down here, there doesn't really seem to be anything else that I want either. So we basically got the farms, the two blacksmiths, and the Aura Cascade hut, and that's pretty much it. That's okay, though. That's still pretty good finds, if I do say so myself. Uh, and actually, I think there might be some goodies up here in this guard tower. Yeah, kind of, sort of. I mean, I suppose a leather helmet's better than no helmet. Could be worse. I'll take that chest. Thank you. Um, but that's basically it. Can I make that jump? I think that's a terrible plan. Let's not give that a try. I don't see that ending well. But anyway, guys, I think that's gonna do it for this first episode of Simply Magic. We, uh, kinda got started a little bit, got some basic stuff done, and we found ourselves a village where we can shack up for a couple days until we get a little bit more established. I'm gonna go ahead and grab all these potatoes right here, and some of these carrots as well because food is the thing. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.